Hi, for chemical synthesis we need to have hot plates and there are some special uh, experiments in which we need to heat the solution and perform those physical experiments. So here I have developed a hot plate that can go from range of room temperature to 80 degrees Celsius and also it can also act as a cold plate. So that's it. But the best thing about it is that it takes a very small cross section or area so in optical table where uh, space is very stringent means available space is very less so this hot plate can uh, fit in this small spaces normally you have seen hot plates which are uh, big bulky but uh, this thing is made for cuvettes it has a stirrer also and it can not only heat the cuvet but also uh, cool the cuvette so its temperature ranges from 0 degree to room temperature room temperature to 80 degree celsius another advantage is that often we need to show how the temperature is controlled in an experiment so from this you can uh, this hot plate which we have made you can also acquire the temperature so uh, so this is the hot plate so this is the cross section and this is the Peltier plate which we will be using so uh, what can be done uh, this box pvc box and everything can be stripped and this peltier plate itself can be used so you can understand how small cross section it can take and it is very precise means more precise than what is available in the standard market so sit back enjoy so one thing we need to mention is that due to the restriction of time in this video we are not doing the cold part of it it's from the only the hot uh, it will go from the room temperature to 80 degrees celsius in the upcoming videos we'll do the cold part also when a few hardware changes needs to be made and also some software changes here we are using arduino uno along with display keypad shield you can just use atmega 328 microcontroller but to make the circuit simple and to acquire data arduino is used an electrical pvc box is used to make it compact and visually appealing in the video but it is not necessary cable tie is used to tie the arduino to the frame the keys in the shield help us to adjust temperature and select different configuration now we need to install the peltier peltier plate is a thermoelectric cooler having p type and n type semiconductor pillars when current is passed side a becomes hot if direction of current is reversed, side A becomes cold. Hence, you can get a range from 0 to 80 degrees Celsius. Temperature above 80 degrees Celsius can probably destroy the Peltier plate. So, computer fan is used because I thought it is very precise and uh, very fast. And I attach hard disk magnet to it. But I was really wrong. Uh, and uh, so, the mistake remains. So, using the light to find out where to put the Peltier plate. So, in a few seconds, we will understand that why it is bad. The problem with computer fan is that you cannot actually control the speed very well, like in a DC motor. In DC motor, you can control the RPM very precise, but because computer fan is brushless DC micro motor using PWM signal controlling the speed of it because very tough like here when there is a low T on and high T off ratio of PWM signal the computer fan uh, just vibrates here what we have done to get around the system is that uh, there is a push button you need to press the push button and it will drive the computer fan at its full speed and then uh, by tuning the potentiometer you can control the speed but uh, we measured roughly that it is around 900 to 1000 rpm at the lowest speed which is uh, way out of uh, uh, means what is prescribed for steering 
so uh, so in future we'll be replacing this computer fan with a dc motor i use a computer fan because it takes less cross section and looks cool too in the video but ultimately it's not practical you need to tie the wires and insulate everything and put it in one box so that it doesn't get blown away after completing we'll just test it we'll be using a normal temperature thermometer body temperature thermometer because it is thought to be very accurate so i am using here doctor trust i trust the doctor and the trust so by comparing the fahrenheit and celsius uh, it pretty it has a deviation of just 0.3 degrees so i can consider it very accurate like that but only the steering portion is what uh, we need to work on and also in the next video uh, coming up video will show that how to make it hot plate as well as a cold plate another thing i wanted to say is about like okay so you can control the temperature just by pushing up the button here you can see the graph clearly like uh, after you uh, set a temperature how the temperature rises and it has ab adaptive pwm adaptive pwm means once it reaches the temperature it starts controlling uh, the t on and t off time so t on means powering the peltier plate t off not powering the peltier plate so each time it checks the heating of rate of heating of the peltier plate and adjusts the t on and t off time after adjusting this t on and t off time it tries to get around the set temperature accurately so here we can see the graph that after it reaches the set temperature it starts to oscillate so normally pid controller is used to stop this oscillation but to me this oscillation is fine it will not hamper my experiment so i have just kept it uh, there and also uh, it makes the code easy now you can see it has two power supply one is connected directly to the computer which powers the display gets you to the graph this is the rpm control of the motor circuit the mistake which i have made that instead of motor i have used a bldc motor or computer fan don't do it so it it has a 555 and a bd139 transistor so 555 actually uh, gives power uh, gives signal to the bd139 which actually controls the speed of the motor that's it and it uses pwm signal or pulse wise modulation signal now this is the circuit diagram how you can control the temperature sensor has a 5 uh, volt ground and the signal goes to a3 this red uh, red thing is the motor dri uh, motor driver controller but instead of mo driving a motor i am using a peltier plate so there are two separate circuit one is of the 555 circuit which controls the rpm of the motor uh, directly and another is this circuit which controls uh, just the peltier plate using and it has a closed feedback loop i am using two different uh, circuits or power supplies because uh, arduino needs a constant dc and if there is spikes then uh, uh, error can occur uh, during data acquisition so these are the two wires for the peltier plate powering the peltier plate and these are the three wires from the lm35 temperature sensor so this is a signal this is a positive and this is the display there are buttons so once you open you can see the array of wires but don't be afraid it's very simple this is the motor driver controller or al293d here is the computer fan with a hardex magnet to act as a steerer this is the ic555 and this is this is bd139 so ic555 actually produces the pwm signal depending on the turns of potentiometer t on and t off time varies so you can see it has a 112 volt power supply and 15 volt power supply this is the arduino uno you can use a normal atmega 328 chip but i prefer to make it simple so that is about the whole circuit there is also a switch in which you can uh, switch off the steerer and switch on the steerer this is the potentiometer so here is the switch and here is the push button to jump start the steerer because i told you 
like I need to use a DC motor but instead I used a VLDC motor so like that is one of the mistakes which I made So this is the above the whole circuit these are the codings which you can just pause the screen and just can refer so that is for now so if you like the video please like share and subscribe and uh, thank you we'll see you in the next video